What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, we are here in the garage today working on the car and I just wanted to kind of give you guys just a quick updated video talking about the uh, Jack Spania Racing Ram Horn Manifold for the B Series. So if you could, stay tuned and we'll give you guys an update on that. Woohoo! Tell that I had ran that. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys. All right. Uh, sorry about the noise. I, it's really cold out, so I had to. Uh, turn on the turbo uh, to keep it you know nice enough in here to work it's always stays pretty decent but had to had to bump it on because it is pretty cold but yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update on the manifold uh, I did see there was uh, some people in the comments that wanted an updated video from the last time we when we installed this uh, also some people that were saying that all oh, these manifolds crack and this and that and blah 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 well just want to give you guys it's about a six month update. Um, yeah, so I'll kind of show you guys uh, the manifold itself and how it's doing. All right, so here is the Jack Spanier Racing Manifold. Uh, this is the AC compatible one. We don't actually have AC in here. Um, the reason I wanted this one though is I liked the way that it oriented the turbo and how the wastegate was positioned. Um, I don't necessarily know how it would fit Specifically, if you had AC, it would be very tight in here. Uh, but yeah, it does work. Uh, with this turbo too, um, I do have a four inch inlet turbo, so it is very close to the radiator. It actually does touch the shroud a little bit, but no worries there. Um, so the manifold itself uh, doesn't have any cracks. Just wanna kinda show you guys that. So I did see there were some people that were saying that these things crack. Um, this thing spent five days on the dyno being ran pretty much non-stop because we were having some tuning issues and I checked everywhere There is no cracking on the manifold whatsoever anywhere So yeah, there's uh, there's no cracks in this manifold um, I even had some studs on here that I didn't have the, the um, nuts tightened down all the way and I was a little worried about it warping and getting some like leakage. Uh, replaced those studs since then because they were shitty and I haven't had any issues with it. Um, so nothing's warped on the flange, sealed up really good. Um, like I said, this thing spent five days on the dyno. I would assume probably a couple hundred runs on the dyno. Um, I've driven it since then. I have not raced the car since then. Um, but the wastegate flange here, Seals up fine with the v-band on it. Yeah, haven't had any bolts, you know, even the um, The t3 t4 flange for the turbo that hasn't even the studs that are on it haven't backed out I've had zero issues with that. I Will probably do another updated video after the race season or if I do run into any problems But to be honest, I think maybe some people just got a bad one. I'm hoping um Hopefully I don't run into any issues down the road, but yeah, the, the welds on this thing are are really nice. And I've checked every single one, top and bottom, no cracks, so. At the moment, I'm still giving this a thumbs up for the money, it's hard to beat it. It's very heavy duty manifold. Uh, yeah, I can't say anything bad about it. So uh, if you could guys, please like, subscribe, Hit that bell for notifications and we will see you on the next one.